friends and welcome to Decorate Your Life. Today I have a special treat for you. This is a milk box gift box tutorial using the We Are Memory Keepers punch board and it's super easy, super simple to do and um, I'm going to be making this. This video is not going to be edited. I want to show you how fast and how simple this is. It's going to take you maybe 15 minutes to make, if that, and you are going to get to see mistakes and all. So just a little bit of a background story, of course. I was inspired by Miss Erica, she's Scrap Diva 29, and by my uh, friend Sandra. I forget Sandra's channel's name, but I will go ahead and link the two ladies in the description area below. And they have been showing a lot of uh, hauls from AliExpress and the cute little gift boxes and things that they've been making with them. So I was inspired. I'm currently making a lot of, uh, well, not a lot, but it seems like a lot <laughs> of Halloween treat boxes. I cannot show them to you just yet, but I will pretty soon, I promise. And so I wanted to make a milk carton. Actually, I wanted to make a gable box, but I couldn't get my dimensions right. And I was just like, ah. So then I figured out, you know what? Since it's coming out tall, why not make a milk carton out of it? <laughs> so I did. And I will go ahead and leave those dimensions in the description area below as well. And let me show you real quick what we are going to be using in this tutorial. We are going to need our paper trimmer. We are going to need our our scoreboard and some double-sided tape and the uh, where did it go oh yeah here it is okay and we are going to need this gift bag punch board now if you don't have one of these Tuesday morning sells these for like maybe five or six bucks okay this device has been out for several years now and it's gone down so cheap you can get it so cheap at a Tuesday morning and if you don't have a Tuesday morning by you I will go ahead and try to uh, find the best price for you online and leave you that link in the description area as well so we're gonna be needing this 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 and I already said some double-sided tape and I'm gonna be using papers from my stash this I got at Michael's it's one of the hot buys I got it um, I think it during the springtime I don't recall but oh that is such cute paper okay well no it's not gonna go with my oh oh let's do the pigs let's do the pigs <laughs> Okay, remember I said I am not going to edit this video out, so we are going to get mistakes and all. Yes, so, okay, you're going to get my brain farts and everything else. <laughs> Did she just say brain farts? <laughs> okay, so let me um, put this to the side, and I will keep this right over here for you to take a quick look at. And now, the dimensions that we are going to be using are, we're going to we're going to be using obviously a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock or scrapbook paper, and you don't want it to be flimsy, okay? You don't want it to be so thick that when you fold the paper, it's going to tear along the sides, and yeah, you don't want to do that, okay? Just kind of like a medium, good quality paper, not flimsy and not thick, thick. Okay, so we're going to cut our paper to 10 by 7 and a half, and then you'll see. Alrighty, so because here's a trick that I learned through trial and error, okay, because this is going to be the 10, the 10, uh, it's going to be up and down the vertical, and the 7 and a half is going to be the widthwise. What I want to do is first, I want to cut my 7, okay? My 7 and a half is going to be cut first. So we're going to go 7 and a half because I want the piggies to look right okay so we're cutting seven and a half and now we are gonna cut at ten okay so there we have it and our 
paper trimmer is going to go bye bye okay let me put this off to the side and now we're going to take our punch board and we're just basically going to um go by what the instructions say okay and we're going to hold it the right way all righty and now we are going to start right here at the starting line right along here okay so we start at the starting line and what we do is we punch okay then we score and then we score right along the S because the measurements, my 10 inch measurement is for the small size, okay? I didn't wanna make it larger than that. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna take this next line and I'm gonna line it up here. Alrighty, we punch. I should bring this closer to me and I'm sorry if I'm off frame. We're going to go here, here, and here, and we are going to score on the part that says side and then right along there, okay? So now we are going to take this next line, the last line that we just scored, and we are going to line it up with that little thingamajiggy just to show you what I'm lining it up with right here, this little peak or something. Okay, that's the little edge that you want to be lining up against. So we are going to, let's see, I punch. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to score horizontally. And then I'm going to score once again where the S is for Super Sandy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't feel like Super Sandy. <laughs> Okay, so there we go, and we're going to do our triangle, our triangle, our this, our that, and right over here along the side. Okay, and over here, we're going to take that last line that we just did, and we are going to punch there. Okay. So this goes in the trash, and where did my scissors go? Here we go. Alrighty, so now we are going to take a little thingamajiggy off of there, and there we go. So now, the next thing that you want to do is, you want to take your paper, and you want to fold it along that scoring line. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's fold, fold, fold like so, and like so, and like so. And this is what you have, okay? Now we are going to take our scoreboard, alrighty? We're gonna take our paper like this, and we are going to square it out right over here, alrighty? And the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to score at four inches. Make sure that is squared out correctly. And we're going to go right along the four inch mark. Alrighty. So our paper looks like this. We're going to put our scoring board away. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our paper bag punch or gift back punch, okay? And see where we punched right along these lines? We are gonna follow that, okay? We are going to follow that. So over here, we are going to line that up and punch. Let me bring it closer to me. And right over here, we are lining up. There we, wait, it's not lined up correctly there nope there yep okay and punch and over here we are lining it up is it lined up there we go 
punch and the last one we are lining up and whoops I'm off there we go punch and we are left with this okay now we can put this away put that away hopefully it won't fall from there okay so now what we are going to do is oops nope 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 I have one more one more see I want this to look nice and neat like these okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to line it up against the starting line alrighty and punch there we have it okay there we go and now what we are going to do is we are going to get rid of this little thing just like um, I did over here I was gonna say just like we did over there but you know what y'all haven't seen that okay there we go and there we go okay so we have this the next thing that we are going to do here is we are going to take this line right here see these lines we are going to take this space that we just punch and we're going to take it in a little bit deeper but we are going to stop where this line meets that line that t that's where we're going to stop so we're going to cut and we are going to cut and we are going to cut okay so now we have this let's go ahead and fold right along there we do not want to do anything with the smaller ones you're going to have a line here but just leave it leave it as is okay don't do anything with that because those lines were intended or are intended for the um, the gift bag okay so we don't want to mess with that we're gonna go like this and this very last line we are gonna go like so okay so this is pretty much it and now we are going to put our uh, milk carton together let me get some double-sided tape there we go and we are gonna go here some tape there and decide which is going to be your bottom piece and I decided that this one is going to be my bottom piece and I'm going to put some tape on that bottom piece just there and there okay sorry about that so now we are going to take this whoops let me do it from here there we go okay and we are going to put it together yeah just like so and there's probably an easier way to do this but there we go whoops come on, come on. there we go ah seriously now okay let's do this line up my hands oops not there not there come on there we go okay I think I should probably do it like this, huh? 
See, I told you there must have been a better way to do this. And there we go. There we go. That did it. I'm going to take this just to kind of like press down on it. Alrighty. Oh, you know what I did? My piggies are going to be upside down. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> My piggies are going to be upside down. <laughs> it's okay. Not a problem. <laughs> oh, they're just roasted pigs. How about that? <laughs> Alrighty. So we close this and there we go oops sorry I moved the laptop okay and we fold one sure that they're nice and folded fold the other <laughs> upside down pigs and I was being so careful <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Whoever gets this, you will know that I tried. Okay? This video is proof that I tried to get it right. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. So you put your goodies on the inside. Alrighty. And what I'm gonna do over here, I wanna do something here. I should have done this before, but there's kind of like a tiny little lip hanging from there. I'm just going to get rid of it just ever so gently, just kind of like strip off a little bit. I mean, it's not much. And over here as well, I suppose. There we go. It's not that much. I'm going to do that. We're going to do this one over here. Just, we're getting rid of that little lip. Or whatever you might want to call it. Okay. There we go. And there's nothing there. Okay. So we are going to, for the sake of this tutorial, make believe that I have stuffed it with goodies or candy or whatever. And now what we are going to do is um, I'm holding it together with, first I'm applying one of these glue dots. You can pretty much find these anywhere. Okay. And what I like about the glue dots is that they, they adhere, but it's not like a permanent thing, but they adhere long enough to enclose this okay you can use your glue dots and what you can also use is let's see I'm down to my last one these you can get from the dollar spot and you can do something like this and include a little note on whatever and then you can embellish it let's go ahead and embellish this how about it Okay, I have some stickers here. You have seen my haul video on these stickers. Let's go ahead and say hello with this. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Pigs are upside down. How funny. Which is my front and which is my back? Okay, that's my back and this is my front, but I like this side better. I like this side better for some. No, no. Let's stick with this side. Okay. For the sake of this tutorial. Alrighty. There we go. And, um, hmm. Hello. Should we put a little gem here? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, it doesn't stick. Okay. Um, I want to put something over here. Thanks and hello. No, that doesn't go well. But, oh, what do we do? What do we do? OK, 
Okay, how about the amper? This is the amper sign, right? Should I put it here? Sure, why not? Okay, amper. So over here, what I'm going to do is I am going to use a piece of scrap, okay? Piece of scrap, and let's get to... Whoops, ignore that, <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> and we are going to take some, my enjoy stamp. I'm gonna say enjoy, joy, joy, enjoy. Cause it's gonna say enjoy and hello, or hello and enjoy. <laughs> You'll know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and put this away. And my scissors, where did they go? Right here. And I'm just going to cut this right along there. And right along there. Right along there. And right along there. And we are done! Ta -da! <laughs> so what did you think of this tutorial? Easy peasy, aren't these cute? I love making these. Yes, so give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed my video and thank you for subscribing to my channel. I do have more tutorials along the way and I have Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you the stuff that I've been working on. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And like I said, you got it, unedited version. I wanted to get this uploaded real quick. And uh, <clears throat> I will see y'all again real soon, okay? My next video should be my mini album video that I promised y'all. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Thank you for watching. Bye. 24 minutes, not bad. <laughs>